Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a narration vlog of when we did a long drive to Portland and Seaside, Oregon. Alright, so on the last couple of days of 2016, December 30th, uh, we took Ritz Camaro and we did a long drive down to the States down from Vancouver, down, and we went past Washington into Oregon. And we hit up two cities. We went to Portland first, and then randomly we decided later on to head over to Seaside, Oregon, which was totally on the coast of Oregon. So enjoy and check out the highlights. All right, so it's December 30th and we've got a special video for you guys. We're going to be vlogging for this road trip. It's 9.35, December 30th. We are headed to the border. We are doing a long drive to Portland, Oregon. I'm still half asleep. Yeah. <laughs> um, we stayed up doing a bunch of work, tying up some loose ends, so we're pretty out of it right now even though it is 9 a.m. We're headed to the border. Um, we're in Vancouver, so it's the border is pretty One close. At the roundabout, continue straight, King George Boulevard. So the border's pretty close, and it's about a five, six hour drive to Portland, Oregon, and I haven't been there in a while. I'm excited for the no tax, because you guys have no tax there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to spend New Year's in a new city and just check it out. All right, so we're here at the Peace Arch border. It's the border between, whoops, it's the border between, <laughs> it's the border between uh, Canada, well, British Columbia, that part of British Columbia and Washington State. So when you enter through here, you end up in places like Seattle and stuff like that. And the Nexus line usually is like way faster taking the Nexus line, but it looks like the regular line is gonna be way faster and Nexus is a lot slower. So that's pretty cool. So now we just head through here and then we'll be in the United States. And then the party starts. All right, so we just crossed the border and now we are hitting up a chevron so that we can get some gas it's not focusing let's move back a little okay so we're at chevron getting some gas because gas is way cheaper in the united states than it is in canada and there's a reed pumping the gas right now you can kind of see her in the rear view Say hello, Reet. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Oh, we kind of missed it. So we're here driving through Washington. The Evergreen State is what the sign said. I'm just strolling through, still tired, still, still out of it. Hopefully. I'll kick in a little bit later. Still going. It's raining now. Hello. Jewel just walked into Thrift Away. Let me just get this situated. Too much? Yeah. That's slightly better. Mm. Okay, I don't know if this angle's any better. The lighting is kind of off, but it'll have to do. Here, let me close the window so you guys can hear me better. So Jewel just went into, oops, there we go. Jewel just went into thrift away. She, uh, she went to go grab a Red Bull because she's just passing out. I have my own fuel right here. 
And um, there, we can all say hello to Jewel. <laughs> she got it. She got it. Did you get um, your fuel? Oh, yeah, it's so cold. Got it. I got the, there was a small, medium, large, and extra large. I was just gonna tell them why we're going to Portland. Okay. Yeah, we um, we we often do this where we kind of break away from our regular city life and just go traveling somewhere, just take a trip somewhere. When we want to set new goals, when we want to plan for the new year, or when we want to plan a new project or start a new project. Um, so that's what we're doing in Portland. You know, it's gonna be a new year, a brand new year, 2017. Crazy, haven't even been to Portland in years, so this is gonna be a good one. Yeah, I'm really excited about that too. Um, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna set new goals for what we wanna achieve in this, this next year and, um, and plan out our projects and just get things settled. It really helps to kind of take yourself away from your regular environment so that you don't get influenced by that and put yourself in a new environment so you can kind of set these goals with a clean slate and start fresh and new. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right, so we're in the city right now and there's quite a bit of traffic. I think we're approaching Seattle. Yeah. And there's just a bunch of traffic going on because probably people are, you know, it's busy. It's December 30th, people are going around town. So this will delay the process a bit. The Red Bull is kicking in now. I'm more awake as you can see. My voice is a lot more animated now before I'm sure you were like, well, this person sounds robotic. But it's a little more animated now in the city. More cars. Stay tuned. Where? You see the tower? Pepsi! Let's see. I can't see anything. Where? Okay, this pickup truck's not letting you see it. Okay, how about now? Can you see it? Oh, like slightly. I don't think the camera can see it. It's way too much in the distance there. Oh, there it is. It's really slight. You can sort of see it right there. Oh, all the cars are blocking it. All right, so here's a better view of downtown and there's the Space Needle right there. I've been up there many, many times. It's pretty cool. to some ser serious XM radio, Pitbull's globalization. Thank you, Pitbull, keeping us live here. And DJ Santa Rosa. <laughs> I just really like saying his name. Hitting up the city. Apparently we're going inside of a tunnel. Oh, check this out. In 440 meters, enter the tunnel. Okay. Will do. Is it an actual tunnel? Uh, it looks quite open. Yeah, I don't think it's an actual tunnel. I think it's just an overpass or an underpass. Let's see. Okay, well, it got covered, so. Here we go. In 330 meters, enter the tunnel, then continue on the current road to Coma. They call this a tunnel? Hold on. I think we're entering Portland. It said entering Oregon, the sign. Uh, now it's a, and now the sign says entering Portland. Oh, entering Portland. What? I thought we were in Oregon for the long
longest time already. We just got out of seeing an orchestra play and it was pretty crazy. Like it was actually really cool. Here, let's go check out the sign here, right? I wanna show you the sign. So we just watched this orchestra in Portland and let me see if I can see the sign. It was honestly really cool. I've never experienced it before. There you can see the sign up there. dropped off at the first location we're gonna take you guys on the journey start up the app and let's see how it goes all right so we got the app open and now we need to enter in the code so enter in the code Four, one, five, eight. you have to put the whole thing no, no no you have to enter the whole thing okay click dismiss All right, click Clues, Operation City Quest. Okay, so now we need to find the Portland items first. Here we go. So we just found the first thing, the sphere in the teacher's fountain, that giant circle thing. It's a little blurry right now. Let's see here. There it is. Completing our first challenge here. Okay, cool. Yep. We got it? Yeah. So what happened? Click check mark. And then? Nothing different happened. Do we get points? I don't know. Oh, success. Success. Okay, continue. Wait. Okay. So, cool. So we did it? Yes. The next. All right. So we got our next clue. We're headed to Third Avenue. So we're walking for a bit and we think we're going in the right direction. So let's see how it goes. Is this it, Reed? This statue? It's cold out here, guys. Is this it? Oh, this is not it. All right, we found the second clue. Okay. We found the second clue. We found Terry. All Here right. we go. Okay, take now what, take a picture? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Whoa, it's all muddy here. It's all gross and muddy. Okay. Nice. So what's happening? Navigating to near Park Avenue. 
Here's where we watched the uh, orchestra yesterday. This was the uh, Arlene Schnitzer concert hall where we watched the orchestra playing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. All right, so we found the third clue. Walking up to it right now. This statue thing, Theodore Roosevelt. Nice. We got him. Boop. Is this it, right? Clue number four? This thing? Oh, wow. They described this as yellow and green abstract art. I would describe it differently. Okay, so we just found another one randomly. This isn't the next one that we were headed to, but we just found it on our way. So we knocked off that one. Now we're headed back to the fourth one? Yeah, the Thor it's supposed to be on this block. So we're supposed to be looking for the Thor sculpture, but we can't see it anywhere. And we're trying to look a picture of it online so that we can see it. All right, so it's pretty cold. So we're gonna stop in at a Starbucks right now because it's freaking freezing. We need to warm up a bit. Reed's hands are getting frostbitten here. Go. I know it's so cold. Okay, let's go in. Let's charge your phone. I guess it's like a stand-up place. All right, this one didn't have any seats, so we gotta go and find another Starbucks that has seats. Oh, it's all foggy. Look, my lens is all foggy. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Cool, oh, just run into this thing. I think it's an actual real tree. Cool. Okay. Oh. Hey guys, okay, we just had our break at Starbucks. We're all uh, we're all warmed up and we're now finding little things here and there around the city like fire hydrants, florists, banks, old buildings, new buildings. So we're on that quest right now. All right, so we just killed it. We just got like four in one take right now. We're awake now. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we just did like 10 of them right now. Now we're gonna head to the next Portland uh, clue because those ones are worth 20 points. So on the way, we're gonna find like the little ones. So we're just developing a little bit of a strategy right now. All right, it's getting really dark. And for some reason, you can hear all these birds, all these crows, can you hear that? That's just crows and we don't know what's happening here. Maybe they're all meeting up for a meeting, Netflix and chill or something. <laughs> but there's like hundreds of them making all these noises. You can see them all coming in. Kind of want to get out of here before they poo on us. What's happening? They're saying the birds know something that we don't. There's just like thousands of crows. Oh, you read the sports car. Sports car. Yeah, but I'm not going to Starbucks. You coming back? Ninety-seven. Was it ninety-seven out of a hundred and forty items? So that's decent. That's pretty cool. And we might still find some stuff on the way back. So staying hopeful. 
also um, we submitted a bunch of ones that were after the sort of the, the when the people are approving it so I think we'll have a final total for you guys tomorrow all right so we are back on the road again and we are done in Portland for now and we're actually heading to a different hotel. Continue 19.8 kilometers. It's um it's going to be by the seaside, so by the coast of Oregon. And as you can see, there's way more snow happening over here. I think we're in the mountains area. Highway. Damn that thing's annoying. <laughs> but anyways, we're just we're headed to the different hotel. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, I will film again when we are closer to the destination. Hey guys, so after that drive, that scary snow drive, we are here in Seaside, Oregon. It's like a small, cool little beach town here on the coast of Oregon. I've never actually been here before, so we're just walking around in the town and I will show you some of the beach later on. 